Oh, hello. I was just reading a chapter about Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy from my new autobiography, Size Matters Not. What's that? You'd like me to read some to you? Oh, what a splendid idea. <clears throat> Two Henson artists, Paul and Nicola, built Marvin. They assembled flexible plastic pieces to form a prototype suit for me, and when I tried them on without the head, I looked like a mini stormtrooper. I was very impressed. Gosh, it looks a lot heavier than it actually is, Warwick quipped. The final version, made of fiberglass, would be a lot heavier. I then met Garth Jennings, the director, a very bubbly, effervescent man who was incredibly enthusiastic about, well, life, the universe, and everything. It's brilliant! Can we make the head bigger? he asked. Once Garth had given his approval, construction of the fiberglass suit began. It steadily became heavier and heavier. Eventually, when it was finished, Paul and Nicola did a show-and-tell session in front of Garth. It's great, but the head's still too small. Paul and Nicola went back to the drawing board. They were worried about the weight of the head. How much would my neck be able to take? It would get even heavier still, because several special effects gizmos still had to go inside. It felt a bit like I was wearing a Formula One racing car, as Paul and Nicola played with the design, trying to shave off a few grams of weight here and there. The first time I tried the finished costume on, it was about four times as heavy as the prototype we'd started with. Just the head to go, Warwick, Paul said. They're not paying me enough for this, I muttered, as the head clicked into place and the world turned dark. Then... The lights came on. Wow, now this is cool. In front of me were two TV screens. One was linked to a pinhole camera in between Marvin's eyes so I could see in front. The other screen was linked to a remote camera that provided me with a director's eye view of the scene so I could see what was going on around me. When we started rolling, my voice was broadcast through speakers placed around the set so the other actors could hear my dialogue. To read more about my humongous head, then buy the book. 